All right, Chevalier, recommendations and invitations. What you got for me? I'm sure you've heard and a lot of people have been talking about it and I missed it. And the reason why I missed it was because Katanji Brown Jackson was being sworn into the Supreme Court at the exact time that okay. Usher was doing his tiny desk performance on NPR. And if you have not seen it, um, that his voice is just, <laughs> it's butter. <laughs> it's well, so good. I have seen it. And it's weird because oh, you, you said that. It. You said it like it was a live event, like uh, the Warriors playing the Celtics. <laughs> like, I missed it because Kataji Brown. No, it's a tiny desk concert. Click, let me watch Usher. No, I watched it. It was. I know, uh, I'm just saying. It was happening at the same time, and, and, I, and I missed it. So I watched it later. Okay. And I mean, coming on, coming on the heels of that versus battle with um, Ray J and Omarion and all those people. Usher was like, sit down, boys. Let me show y'all how it's done. And it was, yeah. I mean, it's its so good. And I've seen him in concert once before um, here in Atlanta. I think it's always amazing when you get to see an artist in the city that they're from or where he was raised. Um, he brought out just every every act you could you could imagine. Every Atlanta rapper was at this concert. He just, he's just an amazing performer. And so that's my recommendation for this week. If you have not watched Usher's yes. Tiny Desk on NPR... I have 25 seen minutes it. long put it on well i think we should say what's good about it because it's definitely not the mm -hmm. best musical performance on the tiny desk that was that was probably anderson Pac. right um okay but what i loved mm -hmm. about it okay, was how, how much charisma he showed on it you know just how at ease he was yeah. which is why you got to watch the what you know what i mean um <laughs> It was just very All the memes of that are amazing. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, <laughs> so I think watching Usher control the room and you could tell like, okay, this is a pro, this is a veteran, this is like a, a legendary performer. It, it, it's kind of felt like what it must have been like to watch Al Green perform in, in like a lounge Ooh. back in the day. Just someone who like controlled the room. I know my craft. You go enjoy yeah. yourself. Just chill out. So I think, yeah. you know, the musical arrangements, I didn't love, but I did love what, watching Usher just kind of like work the room. So, no, I, I watched it. It was worthwhile. But uh, I think the memes are, are better than the actual performance. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, because like I said, this did come on the heels of um, Usher doing... Um, or came on the heels of, um, what was it? Sammy, Ray J, and all them. So if mm -hmm. Usher were in a versus battle... Ooh. Who should he go up against? Uh, and don't I, say R. Kelly, because that is not, not even a possibility. R. Kelly, the man's it's not even in a possibility. <laughs> All right, the man's where he should be. But that is an interest, interesting debate as far as who had more hits. But anyway, we won't do that. Uh, okay. Chris Brown, I think Chris Brown is the only logical choice. I agree. I agree. Has has the world forgiven Chris Brown? Has black women forgiven? Has college educated? intellectual black women have y'all forgiven chris brown i don't know i did only because you know i always when i see someone like him you know i see uh i see my boys and so you know while what he did was horrific um i always thought he should be given a second chance and so i think people will always remember that about him you know remember that incident uh with rihanna but um yeah I yeah, think like so. he just At started least I working have. I don't know. I can't speak UK. for all of us, but he yeah. just started working in the UK again, which is mind blowing. But I mean, I think it'd yeah, be I different if he was a repeat chances. offender. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that will ever happen, but I would love to see the two of them um, go head to head. Um, just because not only are they both amazing vocalists, but they're also both um, incredible performers. Um, and I think Chris Brown maybe has a little bit of an edge in terms of dancing yeah. over Usher. Um, but yeah, yeah, I would love Usher to see just that be doing that one too. little slide move the whole time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the one little slide move the whole time. Yeah. Chris Brown be doing flips and like spinning on his pinky and stuff. And Usher be slide. Uh, I, I love um, your impersonation. <laughs> Of course, he'd do it a lot smoother than that. You know what I mean? I, I um, would hope so. 